Arctic Ocean of the Earth, smallest and shallowest of all the oceans, almost completely surrounded by land. Russia, Norway, Denmark, the United States, and Canada border the 14 million square kilometer body of water. Realizing their Arctic sovereignty, clearly defining their underwater land masses in the Arctic. Project Cornerstone is a collaborative effort which has Natural Resources Canada, the Department of Fisheries and Oceans, and Defence Research and Development Canada partnering to achieve a common goal. Employ autonomous underwater vehicles, AUVs, to survey critical areas of the Arctic seafloor. Data collection from Project Cornerstone will be combined with bathymetric measurements from previous surveys to support a submission under Article 76 of the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, UNCLOS. Information on the limits of the continental shelf beyond 200 nautical miles from the baselines from which the breadth of the territorial sea is measured shall be submitted by the coastal state to the Commission on the Limits of the Continental Shelf. A successful submission could see Canada's underwater landmass increase by almost 2 million square kilometers. Due to the Arctic region's remoteness and extreme environments, an innovative underwater approach was conceived to assist in data collection for UNCLOS. Defence R&D Canada was tasked with providing two long-endurance AUVs, designed and built by International Submarine Engineering to specifications required to conduct survey missions in the Arctic Ocean. Tests at CF Meter, the Canadian Forces Maritime Experimental and Test Range, NANUS, evaluated the homing and tracking systems, longer duration missions, as well as the performance of the inertial navigation and acoustic systems. Establishing and maintaining a multi-camp survey project in a challenging and remote Arctic region is highly dependent on the successful relocation and deployment of assets. The Polar Continental Shelf Program's base, located at Resolute Bay on Cornwallis Island, bordering Barrow Strait and the Northwest Passage, serves as the main staging area for Project Cornerstone. personnel to the main camp, located just south of Borden Island, on the shorefast multi-year ice, and to the remote camp, located 300 kilometers on a drifting ice flow. At the main camp, DFO hydrographers with Discovery Mining Services contractors clear up to two meters of hard-packed snow to erect 18 weatherized tents on the ice surface. The main camp includes accommodations for 50 personnel, several technical and mechanical tents for maintaining equipment, complete washroom facilities, a large double tent to assemble and deploy the AUV, and finally a full kitchen and dining area. In Arctic environments, proper nutrition helps to regulate the body's core temperature. It keeps the body warm and provides enough fuel for working in cold weather conditions. Prolonged exposure in sub-zero temperatures can cause body temperature to drop once metabolism increases to warm and humidify the air inhaled. Typically, the body burns more calories to stay warm. Another type of fuel is also in constant demand at both camps. 
drums of diesel and aviation fuel can occupy several seats, the short takeoff and landing aircraft, or fill its entire cargo hold. Fuel is unloaded and organized on the runways before reaching its final destination. Much of the fuel will be used at the main camp to supply power, heat the tents and operate vehicles, while the portion will remain on the runway to refuel busy aircraft, and many drums will make the 300 kilometer journey to the remote camp. A much needed break in the weather allows for the cutting of the AUV deployment ice hole. After clearing two meters of surface snow for the second time, the wind is tolerable, the ice is exposed, and the hot water drill is up to temperature. Designed and built by DRDC, the hot water drill is simply a furnace burner with a circulating pump. Water, nearly boiling, is pumped through hoses and pipes and is forced out of small holes drilled in the lower edge of the cutter pipe. The AUV team uses a three-foot cutter pipe to remove 36 ice blocks measuring three feet by one and a half feet by six feet. It takes four men two days to remove over 30 tons of ice. The final ice hole dimensions are six feet wide and 28 feet in length. The AUV communications team sets out to deploy an underwater acoustic modem field and a terrestrial networked radio system to establish communications with the AUV. Six more, considerably smaller, ice holes are drilled circling the AUV ice hole with a one kilometer radius. A 